Greetings, thank you for watching this video tutorial on recording and geotagging a PC desktop. I'll be using a Dell laptop for this demo. It has an HDMI output on the back which is plugged into the video recorder. We will consider the recorder as an external monitor for the PC. Under the PC screen resolution settings, I have it set to duplicate the screen so that I can see what is being recorded. The laptop's resolution is set to 1280 by 720. Under the advanced settings option, under the monitor tab, I have the ref refresh rate set to 60 hertz. The recorder is a convergent nano flash. I'm using its mini HDMI input for the recording signal from the laptop. As you can see, the recorder is registering the video signal from the PC as a 720p, 60 frames per second. The recorder's microphone input is connected to the video mapping system via 3.5 millimeter audio cable. The video mapping system is using a GlobalSat Bluetooth GPS receiver. As you can see, the VMS is receiving GPS as indicated by a blue LED, and one of the four 3.5 millimeter audio jacks is connected to the video recorder. We'll have to test this later, but it may also be possible to use screen capturing software to record the PC's desktop if the VMS is connected to the PC's microphone input and if the screen capturing software is recording the microphone input, the final screen captured video should be geotagged. If I am successful with this test, I'll make another video tutorial on how to do it. However, I need to mention some potential issues with this alternative method. It adds another process for the PC to perform and may cause unforeseen problems to occur such as overheating of the PC, running out of disk space, and a lower overall performance of the PC, which would affect the quality of the captured screen. Let's start the recorder. I'm just going to open and close some windows on the desktop to illustrate some actions taking place on the PC. If you have a particular piece of hardware connected to the PC and displaying on the PC screen, it will be captured by the video recorder and geotagged. So I'm just going to play this uh, video on YouTube and move the dialog around, uh, jump ahead in the video. So if I had another piece of software running connected to a sensor, I'd be able to record it using this method. That should be enough. I'm going to stop the recorder now. Okay. I'm now going to take a look at the content we just recorded in Isware. Just injecting the CF card from the NanoFlash and plugging it into a card reader. Close that. Now I'm going to copy the video over, the video we just made. Startup is where.
just going to import the video. Okay, now it's going to start decoding that audio signal from the VMS and translating it back into a NMEA format. Is completed decoding. Since I wasn't moving during this recording, my track will be in one place on the map in Isware. There's my video. There's my point on the map. As you can see, I'm moving uh, content around and windows in the video that we just made. Now, if I had been moving, the track would be more formed into a path. But uh, again, since I wasn't moving, it'll all be in one spot. And that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been informative in providing another technique to geotagging your data.